Hi everybody, this is Kefren. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in L Let Loose. First of all, I will show you how to set up Windows. After that, we will go inside of the game with some tweaking in the parameter. And at the end, uh, we will go in a config file. I have a couple of stuff that you can change in the config file that you can't really change in the game. So let's start with Windows. Uh, first of all, you need to make sure that you uh, remove the game mode on Windows, really important. It's causing a lot of issue with the game. And also the game bar, make sure that this one is at off. The other thing that you need to do is your standby list. So I will post the link uh, to download this uh, software in the video description. Uh, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This uh, software is a small software that will purge your uh, standby list automatically. Uh, Windows have a lot of struggle with it for the past six months. Uh, it, it helped me a lot, honestly, on my uh, stuttering on the Division 2 and Battlefield 5. So uh, this software is really important. It's the guy who did the DDU, so it's not like a, some random uh, <laughs> software on the web. It's a pretty decent software and uh, you can trust it. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, first of all, make sure that you're playing this game in full screen. You will gain a 2% uh, if, if you compare with borderless or window mode. Uh, resolution will depend on your monitor. Um, again, if after all my tutorial and the config file, all the change, you still don't get your 60, uh, probably you will need to lower your resolution or your resolution scale here. Resolution scale, it's pretty much last resort. Don't go under 90 because everything starts to feel blurry. You will see pixel, etc. So this is not a good thing to touch. So let's start with the graphic parameter. Uh, texture quality for me, not a big problem. It depends on your VRAM on your video card. So if you have 4 gig and more, uh, you can play at epic, you can play at high if you have um, 3 gig, and if you have less than 2 gig, go with low or medium. Shadow quality, uh, this one, the minimum here in the game is medium, you can go lower than that, but we will change it in the um, uh, config file, you have another way to change it. Uh, it will give you a nice chunk, uh, if you go high to medium, but, um, yeah, the name is I. Okay, if you go I to medium and plus the change that you will do in your the config file, you will gain eight uh, percent of FPS. Anti-aliasing, put this one at medium. You have the option for low, but low you will see all the line are kind of breaking in the game, so medium is a good uh, balance. Uh, FX quality, put this one at medium. You have three choice, a uh, four choice. Sorry. Um, I didn't put the FX quality at low because low versus medium, I didn't see the difference in my FPS. And for I and Epic, I was getting like 2% boost for each bracket, so put this one at medium. View distance, you have two choice, Epic and I. Uh, play at I, you will gain an, uh, like a 5% uh, boost if you compare with Epic, so that's, that's kind of huge. F um, foliage quality is the same thing than um, shadow quality. The minimum is medium. Uh, we can change it in the uh, config file and it will give you another 6% for your FPS. Post process quality. I'm putting this one at medium. I don't like post process in uh, FPS game. So uh, it will give you 2% for each bracket. So nice, uh, nice chunk of FPS. And finally, ambient occlusion. Remove this and you will gain another 3% of FPS. So now let's go in the config file. So now for the config file, to see your config file, you need to go in your C drive, user, name of your computer, app data, make sure that you're seeing uh, it in file on Windows, really important. Local, HLL, save, config, and Windows and no editor. The file that you need to open is the game user setting here. And this is pretty much uh, the setting that you're using inside of the game. So normally, inside of the game, when you're putting like, uh, I don't know, you're, you're selecting uh, the shadows and even the foliage, the lowest that you can uh, put, you will see here, 1. So what you need to do is to remove the 1 and put 0 for shadow quality and the same thing for foliage quality. This will give you another like 6% of increase for your FPS, so pretty decent boost, uh, and you need to do that. After that, save your file, and the thing that you really need to do is to block this file because you don't want the game to override this. So right-click on it, go to Properties, Read Only, and you will make sure that your file is locked. So if you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section of this video. Post me uh, your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and peace, everyone.